there, my artists. Today we're going to reflect on all of the things that we're grateful for, and we're going to make a beautiful watercolor painting in the process. Alrighty, so getting started, I've already kind of sketched out my pencil lines of the tree to make this easier for me to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and outline those pencil lines, but I want to have you guys start drawing with me. So we're going to start out with the tree trunk and um, it's going to fan out in kind of like a Y shape. Next, I'm going to create another Y shape with my minor branches. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to have a curved line going up and out. And then I'm going to have it do the same thing on the other side. Now remember with a tree, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Your lines don't have to be perfectly straight. They can be a little curved and different on each side. Now I'm going to be making some smaller V's. Now the V's aren't super pointy at the ends, they do have a little bit of a curve to them. And these are going to make the smaller branches off of the main branches of the tree. And it kind of reminds me of like a deer antler. I'm going to continue and kind of do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to have it be a little bit different than the other side. Now I'm going to start the main supporting branch in the middle of the tree. I'm going to have my lines fan out like a Y just like I did on my other two branches. However, these branches are going to be a little bit different. We're going to have the branches that we drew first overlap over top of the branches that we're drawing now. So we're going to have that line meet on the other side. Then to create those smaller branches that are coming off of the main branch, we're going to make those kind of curvy V's like those deer antlers. Make sure that your lines connect all the way through, so really have an eagle eye out when you're drawing. I'm gonna continue that through the rest of this branch. All right, so moving on to the ground, I'm gonna be doing kind of a curved wave line at the bottom and I'm gonna separate it into some different parts. So if you would like to do it this way, you can. Um, I'm just kind of starting it where it's very tapered on one side and then it gets very wide on another side. Kind of reminds me of a leaf shape. So we're really kind of keeping with those organic shapes. Okay, so now it's time to do a little bit of brainstorming. I'm picking up some post-it notes, that way I can make a list of all the things that I am grateful for right now. So these can be very serious things, very deep introspective things, like I'm grateful for my family, my friends, and my health. But you can also write down things that maybe aren't as big or you know as important. They're the smaller things that are really making you happy right now, like I've been loving playing uh, Animal Crossing, you know, I love doing art, uh, watching Netflix, you know, smaller things that kind of get us through our days. All right, so now that I have my list of things that I'm grateful for, I'm gonna start by writing on the tree trunk, I am grateful for. This is going to be the base of all the things that we are thankful for, grateful for, things that make us happy. Um, you can pick whatever font you want to write in. I decided that I wanted to have, you know, every different word be kind of a different font, but if you would like to stick with one font, um, play around with different fonts, feel free. Now that I have my phrase written out, I'm going to go ahead and trace it with my Sharpie marker.
Now this is where our list comes in handy. We're going to take the things that we wrote on our little sticky note, our list of things that we're grateful for, and we're going to write them on the branches. Now I'm going to encourage you to put maybe the more important, deeper things that you're grateful for on the main branches. So I decided to write family on my first main branch. Now, if you'd like to do it differently, that's fine by me. Um, I decided that I wanted to have the little smaller branches be smaller things that are making me happy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna trace over all of those pencil lines with Sharpie. So now we're going to look for a nice size cup and we're going to trace a circle on our paper. This is going to be a nice little sun or moon detail. So I would pick a spot on your paper where you have enough room where the sun can kind of be maybe hiding behind some of the branches or, you know, peeking out. Once you've traced your circle, we're gonna go ahead and trace that with some Sharpie marker. And then we're gonna erase all the pencil lines that we don't want that are still showing. So I took a step back and I looked at the picture and I decided that I really wanted the tree and the branches to stand out a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and make my outline of the tree a little bit thicker so it kind of pops out from the rest of the writing on the paper and the sun and the ground. Alrighty, so now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and add our beautiful watercolors. Now, if you do not have watercolors, you can make them using washable marker and adding a little bit of water to them. If you don't wanna do that, you can just color them with marker, you can color it with crayon, colored pencils, pen, whatever you have available, just do what works for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up and show you how I finish painting my picture.
Alrighty guys, so that is it for our gratitude trees. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this beautiful drawing and painting and I cannot wait to see what you guys create.